Hey guys, this is Glintru, and in this video I'm showing you how to apply the English patch to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. We all know and love Monster Hunter, but unfortunately the latest one, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, is only available in Japanese right now. So, thankfully, a group of people have developed an English patch for us, loyal fans, so we can enjoy and understand it. So, to apply the patch, you need to have custom firmware installed on your PSP. You will also need to have an ISO image of your game. Like this one right here. If you don't have an ISO image, you can rip one off your UMD onto your computer. And it's always safe to make a backup of your ISO before patching it in case something goes wrong or you want to revert the change. So always make a backup of your ISO image. So next, download the patch. To do that, just follow the link in the description below and it will lead you to this website. Team Maverick 1, they are the ones who are making the patch, so big props to them. They are working on it for a very long time and keep on improving it, so great job Team Maverick. And by downloading it from their website directly, you can be sure it's safe and legit. So I'll just link you to their website instead of uploading it to some website myself. Um, so. They have two ways to apply the patch. They have one patcher which automatically patches the game for you and they also have uh, another method which is by adding a PRX plugin into your PSP folder. I'm going to be showing you both ways but I'm starting with the patcher method which is far easier and it's, it addresses the casual gamer with, who just wants to do it quickly and it's very easy so I'm going to be starting with that one. So first up you need to download the patch um, which is this link and this is the latest patch version 3.9.1 so just click on it and download it and it will ask you to pick a mirror just pick one like game front and follow the links and it will eventually lead you to the download link. I already downloaded it so I don't need it and next up you want to download the patcher which is this link right here it will lead you to an older patch but it just this patch just has the patcher link down below so don't worry about it you just need to download this link right here and once you've done that you will have these two files and you will need to extract them you can do that with WinRAR and these are the two files you will have. This is the patch data file and this is the automatic patcher. You will need to have both files in the same folder otherwise the patch will not work and it will not patch your game. So I have my ISO image right here and I have my patcher right here. Now I've recorded this before and it seems that the patcher window will not show up on the video for some reason but once you've downloaded it and opened it yourself, you will know what to do because I'm telling you what to do. So just open the patcher and it will ask you to browse to your file. So just browse and find your file, find your game and select it. Next up it will it will give you the option of touched or untouched. This just means if your game has been patched before, you have to choose touched. If it hasn't, you pick untouched. My game has been patched before so I choose touched but it really doesn't matter and then click on patch there's a big button below click on it patch and it automatically patches the game you have to wait 20 seconds or so for it to patch it's really simple really easy and after it's done it, your game is basically patched you don't need to do anything else to it so patching ISO complete great and now your ISO image is patched and just copy it back onto your um, PSP and you, you can just connect your PSP to your computer with a USB cable and this is your PSP and this is what it looks like just copy it into the ISO folder so um, that's it next time you should start the game it should be in English that's it for the patcher method next I'm going to be showing you the PRX plugin method which is a bit more difficult so for the PRX play oh first of all they added this not this method the PRX plugin because some people experienced crashes and freezes with the automatic patch up version method 
because um, the patcher version modifies the ISO image directly and the PRX plugin doesn't. So if you experience any sort of issues, just um, use your backed up ISO image which is unmodified. That's why it's important to back up your ISO image, back up your game and use this method which I'm going to be showing you now. So to do the PRX plugin you need to download one more file so go back to their website and click on advanced instructions right up here. They also give you instructions if you have trouble installing a patch so you might want to check them out. They're very thorough and you need to click on this very small link here download plugin. I already downloaded it so and this is the file you will get. You will need to extract it of course and it will give you this folder with two files inside. And this readme file will tell you what to do, but for now we need to copy this data file inside our loader folder. So you have these three files inside. Next up you need to copy this entire folder into your C plugins folder on your PSP. If you don't have a C plugins folder, just create one and copy it inside. So I've copied the folder inside and you need to do one more thing which is adding another line to your game text. If you don't have a game text just create a text document and add this line to it. The line you need to add is inside your um, folder inside the readme file. Very easy to find. This is the file you will need to add. If you have a PSP Go you will need to add this, this line. But since I have a slam, I'm adding this line. And just paste it. And as you can see, it's just the path to the file. It's just showing you the path so the, the PSP can find the path to the file. And you notice this one behind it. This one just means it's enabled. If it were a zero, it would be disabled. But we want it enabled, so we have a one behind it. And then just save as you exit it. And that's pretty much it. We have we have our folder inside the C plugins folder. We have added the line to the game text. And next time you should reboot your PSP, it should automatically be enabled. So just reboot your PSP after doing this and your game should be patched and in English. So that's it for the patching. I hope you guys found this to be helpful. And next I'm going to be showing you some in-game footage of the patch, what has changed and what has been translated and what not. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.